guys, what is up? First off, I'd like to say that I forgot to mention in the video yesterday uh, how you can help my channel is by leaving comments in the dis uh, comment you know area below on what you want to see in future videos because I can't come up with all these ideas myself. Like I don't have that many in my head right now. But uh, yeah, do that please because it would really help me out and it would give you more content. Anyways, starting off the video, you already know what it is by the title. Should Cell have gotten a Zankai boost like after he blew himself up when uh, you know Gohan would beat the crap out of him? And it's um, I, I was gonna put it up yesterday, but I didn't want to because I didn't. I wanted to make sure I had enough research done. I didn't want to like you know get something wrong and then get you know thrashed about it. I wanted to be proper. And. I'm a little bit iffy on it because I don't know if he should have gotten the Zenkai boost. Because if, uh, first of all, some of you might not even know what a Zenkai boost is. That's possible. A Zenkai boost is when a uh, is a usually it's a massive boost in power that a Saiyan will get when they are near death and they recover from that near death injury. Um, and it was stated by Vegeta and I think both the anime and manga, if I'm correct, that he was telling Krillin on free, uh, on Namek, he was telling uh, Krillin to like beat him to near death so he could become stronger and Krillin wanted to know why Vegeta couldn't do it is because Vegeta said it won't work if I do it myself. So that tells me and many other people that Zenkai boost can't be achieved from self-injury and that makes sense because then it would be easily exploited so if that's the case why is it that when Cell self-destructed he gained a Zenkai boost because wouldn't a self-destruct be a you know self-inflicted injury like if you really think about it I mean some of you have already probably thought of this I'm sure many people have talked about it but I feel like it's probably not touched up upon as much as it should be, but I really don't know if he should have gotten that Zenkai boost, because it's just really, I guess it's just an inconsistency. So I basically just think that Akira Toriyama basically forgot, or he just, you know, didn't care. I mean, he's done some crazy things, obviously, and he's a lot older now, but this was when he was younger. Um, but he's definitely made some inconsistent things in his series before. But, uh, I mean, I guess that's basically it. I want to hear what you guys think, though, down below, because it really could make some interesting discussions. Also, don't forget to check out, um, Quaman's Land, Black and Fist, and Thundershot 69, because they inspired me to do what I'm doing. Thundershot I knew about. He does, like, gameplay videos. If you're into, like, Dragon Ball gameplay, he's doing, like, uh, ooh, I think it was, like, a. Sonic Adventure 2 playthrough, which is a great game. Definitely should check that out. Quaman does great videos like this. Much better than I do, so is Thun uh, Black and Fist. So definitely give them a look. 